So, hello guys, this is Nex and welcome to the sixth part of this tutorial. And what I would like to do is to advance now our camera control a little bit. The last time we actually could move already throughout our terrain, uh, forward, backwards, left and right, plus with the mouse wheel um, and the scrolling we could go up and down on our y-axis. What I would like to do now is to be able to turn around to rotate um, on our y-axis. So simply looking left and right. So first of all um, let's make the terrain a bit bigger set it to 15 ah. Our terrain looks now a bit nicer and bigger and let's set up some new variables private float we have a move speed and now for the rotation around the own axis I would like to define at turn speed and we set it a bit smaller 0 0.05 and we would also need now a private float i and this equals uh, 0 in the beginning a rotation um, value so around this one, this value, we're going to rotate and with this speed. Um, theoretically, we could kind of try to express the turn speed somehow with, with some radians, pi divided by uh, 180 or something like that, or figuring out uh, but some normal numbers are doing the job as well. So the next thing we would need now some new keys. I would like to first, okay, um, we have now the W, D, S and A forward. Let's change the order first. So let's bring it into that order that we actually Where is it? Case um, forward, backwards, and right and left. My new case would be now uh, the case of keys dot, let's say, Q. When we press the Q button uh, on our keyboard, we would like to rotate left and uh, let's add the break. And let's do this all over again with our E key um, to rotate to the right. So, what do we have to do? Basically, over here it's the moment quite simple the rotate rot y uh, plus equals uh, no around the q minus equals uh, our turn speed and the same trick in the other direction simply with plus equals but what do we do with this rotate rotation y simply at our whenever we set up the camera and this happens in our uh, paint method which is our loop every time right after clearing the device the camera will be set up and here we have the look at and now we need to 
change actually the look at. We want to rotate, we want to stay on the same position, on the same camera position, but our look at um, vector should change. But it still has to kind of be linked to our camera position. So once we move with our position, that we still calculate this right. And how are we going to do that? Um, the rotation around the y-axis actually um, yeah we, we have to change something on, on our x look at x axis and also on the c1 these two we need to calculate now properly and the calculation is simply uh, with our um, this plus or let's let's start over here. Uh, we simply add the sinus of this rotation y. Uh, first of all, float. We need to cast this into a float. The math sinus function we're gonna call uh, of this rot y. And this we add up to our camera position. So we simply uh, rotate around with this sinus of rotation y and also on the C on the z-axis we're gonna do the same thing therefore we actually don't need this plus 1 over here anymore because here we kinda had plus 0 and here plus 1 and now we interfer a little in between simply with the cosinus. So earlier here it was plus 1 and here plus 0 which we didn't uh, actually have to write and now uh, depending on our rotation level of this rotation we have now here from 0 up to 1 and the higher this value gets the lower this value gets. So this plus one we remove and we instead of we have now here the sinus and here the cosinus. So will this do the trick already? Let's see. Let's go a bit to the left. Let's get to the right. And now let's try to rotate. Cool. Very well. Now we rotate around. Now nah, here it comes. Yes, this does the trick and that would be everything already if there wouldn't be a little problem. As soon as I would now click forward or backwards, I'm not actually moving forward or backwards anymore, but still on our original um, in our original direction. So if I look like the way we did in the very beginning and I press forward or I press backwards it works but as soon as I rotate a little bit to the right and pr now I press forward again we don't actually go forward into the direction of the camera but we actually go into our original direction. This is actually not cool we don't want that we would like to move into our direction and what do we have to change for that? Simply the same uh, stuff over here. Let's just uh, copy it. And where we actually move forward, at the moment we just calculate the uh, set axis, but we now have to actually, if we move forward, also move somehow around our x axis. What are you doing to me? So, plus A equals, uh, yeah, the movement speed we need, movement, the move speed times now our sinus. So, our move speed simply times the sinus of rotation. As of the rotation y and the same for 
the set axis. But of course we need here the cosinus. So let's check it for here. We need to change it also for the other directions. But I'm gonna turn a little bit to the right. And now let's move forward. Yes, and I'm actually moving in the direction. Whoa, and now let's go into this corner. I'm simply always pressing rotation and forward. That's it. Okay, rotate all around and go all the way along again. Yeah. So, the other uh, case don't work. Well, if I move backwards, I still would go somehow in that direction. Or that or that. So the other three keys obviously don't work. How do we change them? Simply the S key for backwards is the same uh, as this over here, but we just have to change the direction. Um, and for these two, for sidewards, it's, we have actually two ways. Now we also give it both uh, the same thing as going forward, but now into our angle, the angle which we um, multi multiply towards it, we simply have to change it by 90 degree. And what's the 90 degree in radians? It's actually math pi divided by 2. So to our um, constant or uh, to our variable uh, rot y we simply multiply uh, 90 degree in radians and this is what we have to do of course for the other axis as well. Copy and this should do it for D, I think so. I hope I didn't mix it up now. No, it should work. And now for the A, so going uh, to the left, what we have to do now is simply the same. And we have now two options. I'm sorry, why did I do a plus? Uh, um, of course, we have to add it. But why plus uh, the, the 90 degree? Here also plus 90 degree, not... And here we have the option of either minus 90 degree over here, or it also would of course work if we still add here the plus, but change the minus over here. Either way is good. We can come to the same conclusion and same solution uh, in various ways. So now let's check. I go a little, turn a little bit to the right, going forward, now going to the left, yes, and going to the right. Seems to work, going to the back, left, right, forward, backwards. Let's rotate a bit further. Let's go to the left, to the right, backwards, forward. Everything seems to work exactly as we want it to work. Left, forward, right, backwards. So yeah, that's it for some rotation, simple rotation. We already need some uh, cosinus and sinus functions to do the trick for us. Um, in the next tutorial, I think I will try to put actually our rotation on our mouse so we can rotate the, the or we can grab actually our, our view and then go to the left or to the right the way, uh, whatever we want with our mouse control. It will um, make the whole thing a little bit more complicated. Yeah, but that's it. Thank you for watching. See you soon.